Hey everybody, it's Iggy from Iggy Creates. I'm doing another Dream Address tour today, and this time we're checking out the Oasis Island. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear from the creator herself. Wow, so her entrance is actually really close to the residence center. So if you guys need some tips on how to build um, when the residence center is so close, check out how she used some, some of the vending machines here to um, isolate the entrance from the residence services. Okay, so we're heading over to... It looks like the city area. Oh, You know, I like the song choice too. I haven't heard the song before. It goes with the vibe though of 1960s. I just love seeing stalls like in an alleyway like this. I know there's a lot of brown on your island. Hashtag brown core. And I love these street patterns too. Again, I forgot to check again. Let's look at the map. Okay. So the villagers that you have. You have Octavian, Zucker. Um, Pico? Peek I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Bo, Marcel, Greta, Kabuki. I love Kabuki. Raymond, of course. Judy, and Genji. I was hunting for Genji a while, for a while. I like Genji too. So it seems like the houses or the villagers that you pick really uh, match a the theme of your island too. Over here, we have a nice little reading area over here. A little bakery over here. That's cool. So in the city, it's like having shops in it. Um, just like a rooftop shop. Ooh, I've never actually seen anyone use this record player before. Very 1960s look to it too. Cozy little area over there. All right, let's head more to the left. Oh, you have the um, the New Year noodles here. You know, I don't think I've seen this item either. That's a cool little touch here with the bamboo in the basket. Look at this building that she made too. So she has some stalls, simple panels. And record boxes here with some patterns on it. Make a little booth area. That's cool. Okay, heading to the left. This is her outdoor restaurant. Too bad it's raining. <laughs> Let's say hello. Here, welcome. So this connects to a market. Is it like a fish market? Oh, look how she used the um, some patterns on the um, on the paper lanterns. That's a nice touch too. <laughs> Look at this pattern. Is this like a like a, um, a grocery bag or a plastic bag? Looks like a plastic bag with a happy face on it. Wow, this is a really cool market area. That's so nice right here. Like just the layers of the details in this. There's so many items jam packed in this area. Like that's that's a nice view right there. Wow, there's just so much here. I'm surprised it's not lagging either. There's a lot going on. Okay, so leaving this area, let's go back towards the right. Looks like a train station over here. Oh, it looks like someone forgot their ticket. They dropped it. That's too bad. I love how you can see the stairs behind the, the, um, the train station too, like through the stalls. Number 10, we're heading up to the cemetery. Nice double staircase with the trees and the bushes here. Wow, I just love how the, the, the vibe changes when going up the stairs here. This is nice, too. Oh, look at these baby trees, too. Again, we're leaving the city now, so it's going to be all rural here. I like the dirt path over here. Oh, this is her little toy shop area. Even the toys in here are very, very brown and like 60s feel to it. Look at that. There's so many different types of buildings that you made, too. So above these stalls... Looks like, I think those are the, the lattice fence and the, um, the bug cage. Interesting use of items to make it look like different rooms too. Whoa. Look at that. I saw, I saw this on Instagram the other day where people were making like tree houses. That's, a, that's pretty unique right there. Look at this view right here. That's pretty unique. I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of the newest trends. I'm glad to have seen that. We're kind of nearing her Fisher's Port, but I, I love this view of like the lake and the, um, the houses. Wow. All right, so going to the left, we're actually going to go to the Fisher's Port now. Oh, you have some more houses over here. So you use the wells too. Okay, so we've made it her to her Dotonbori. Sorry about the mispronunciation. I'm really bad at accents, but look at this view right here too. 
All right, so it looks like we've toured most of the dream address. I want to leave some of it for you guys to check out yourself uh, to really experience it firsthand because there's a lot of details to take in and um, there's only so much I could show in the video. But really, this is one of my favorite places right here and also the place with the tree houses. Uh, you definitely have to check out those views. Thank you so much for sharing your dream address. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour and I'll catch you guys next time. So, the first question is, what's your name and or your in-game name? My name is Shasha and my in-game name is Hiraith. Well, it's nice to meet you. What's your island name and the meaning behind it? My island name is Oasis and I didn't really think of a themed name for my island. I was just thinking that what could suit a name for my island and all I could think of is Oasis. What's the theme of your island and where'd you get your inspiration from? My island theme is 1960s Japan. I got inspiration from pictures I found online and also got inspired from the film from Up on Poppy Hill. How long did it take you to make this island? Um, it probably took me like 200 to 300 hours, but it actually took me months to finish this because of work. Yeah, hours wise, that's not a lot considering how much you put on this island but yeah work definitely makes it harder to build uh, next question is what were the most challenging things you had to deal with with building your island the most challenging thing was probably time because i had so much inspiration but i couldn't finish it because of work so finally this holiday season i got time to finish it um i feel like a lot of the creators had the same Thing. They, they were stuck with work, but during the holiday season, everyone just finished up their DAs. What's your favorite area on the island? My favorite area is the city area because that's where I started experimenting the 60s city. And that was actually my first time posting it on Instagram. Oh yeah, I love city areas. I can't wait to see that. Last question is, um, what's next for you after uploading your dream address? Um, I haven't been designing the interiors of my island, so that's probably what I'm going to do next.